Hi, this is my uh, prayer group meeting. Um, I like to read Psalm one to you today. Psalm one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that <coughs> bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. This is basically just saying that uh, Jesus knows the way for the righteous people. And that uh, any sinning will uh, perish. Now let's read Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright, upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man soweth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with direction. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in their last remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Again, we notice that um, that being upright and um, being gracious and full of compassion, compassion and righteousness, you will gain some riches. That's what I'm sort of hoping for my friend Cindy to be like. So, um, she's not out of money any longer. So this is for my girlfriend Cindy's prayer. Amen. Okay, now 127, Psalm 127. I accept the Lord built the house. They labor in vain that build it. Accept the Lord keep the city. The watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early and to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows, for he, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Well, this is basically saying that, um, um, get some rest. And rise up early and uh, have your bows and arrows ready and quivers ready to shoot at the enemy. Arrows in the hand of the mighty man.
and the children and youth don't worry about them or your children. Um, uh, don't be ashamed to have your quiver and speak with enemies at the gate. And here's Psalm 128. That, that was also for Cindy, too. Cindy was keeping up camp until 11 o'clock this morning. She just went to sleep. Okay, Psalm 128. Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou sh shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine. By the sides of thine house, thy children like all the plants around about thy table. Behold it, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the God of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children in peace upon his realm. And that's just saying that, um, fear the Lord and believe in the Lord and his ways. Um, Um, your children shall be adorned at your table. And um, that you're blessed when you fear the Lord. And um, the Lord's going to bless you out of uh, see the good things coming into your life. And see peace for your children too. This is for you, Cindy Lee. I love you very much and I hope you follow the Bible with me. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically the readings of the Psalms. 1, Psalm 112, Psalm 127, Psalm 128, people. So, good luck to you. God bless. Um, shalom Aleichem. Bye.